Hey, this is the artist Sean Sean. I got a tip of the day on how to set up your studio to film um, painting. So you would have your easel and canvas here. And on the other side, you're gonna have your tripod set up. Um, I have this set up for DSLR right now, but you can also do it just for, say, an iPhone that I'm filming off now. Now what I use currently is the Canon, um, I think it says here somewhere, SL2 right there. And what I'm using for handheld is the Canon, um, where is it? Does it even capture it? Let me take it off here a second. So on this lens, I'm using the 28 to 80. And that's for kind of when I'm handhelding with the mini tripod and I'll look at myself and film it this way. And I'll be using this um, little tripod that kind of sets up and you can set it up really flat. So if you film really close or you can also film a little bit higher. So that gives it kind of two settings and it's easy to hold. Another option, which I use for a long time, but I don't like anymore, is this one. You can wrap this around trees. So this is uh, the Joby. Now for your iPhone, when you first set up, which I originally started with, I started with this Joby, which is just a mini tripod right on this. Um, the two other lenses I use with my DSL setup are the classic um, 50 millimeter. This gives you the really nice bokeh. So that nice blur in the background when you're filming. And also when I'm doing kind of a vlog setup, I'm using this Canon um, 10 to 18. And this gives you a really wide angle when you're filming. So it looks more like this versus like this if you don't have that lens. So I got those three lenses. On the camera itself, I add this little Rode mic. I think they're about 60 bucks. This is all you really need. And when it's windy, you can add this, uh, it's called a dead cap and you slide in the microphone like that. And then you just attach it. If you see that here, you would just attach that right on top. Whoops. Right on top, you just slide it in there. Another type of road mic you can get, which um, I kind of like, but not really. Um, you can do kind of um, remote filming is you have this road mic. And so this one you attach to the top of the camera here you slide it right on and it has a second part and this you can put anywhere so i usually hang mine right up here and the canvas is here so you're filming really close but again you can just use the shotgun mic to start off and then at some point you can upgrade to that because this second cam mic is like 200 and this is only 60 and this is a really good directional mic you can also use this straight for vlogging so when you're just recording and you're in some area with vlogging, you're just gonna have this set up on the ground. Film, it has to be like within a certain parameters. On the ceiling, what I've done is I've added this um, sound foaming. And what you wanna have is you wanna have two or three different types. You want the one inch, which kind of captures your really high notes, but you need these bass ones, which are three inch thick, and that captures the sound and makes it really round. You'll notice in the video, the sound is not bouncing around, so it's giving, there's no echo. And so the sound recording my iPhone right now is really good, even though it's just the iPhone. Um, and yeah, you want to have that tri tripod, which is this attaches to. I got a really cheap tripod. You don't need to get an expensive one. You can just get that base $60 one. There's really expensive ones that are 200 if you film in the field, but that one's going to be good all day. Another thing you want to have is you're going to have daylight bulbs. So those are crucial. And you want to have it kind of a three-point system. I have one here. This isn't ideal, but I've kind of blocked it with paper towels to make that soften the light. And the same thing here is another on the three point system. This paper towel blocks this daylight bulbs and makes it a lot softer glow. I should probably have this one also shielded and that'll kind of diffuse the light and give it a really crisp, not crisp, but very um, diffused light even amount. So you want to light it from at least three points so you don't have a glare on your painting. Um, ideally, um, up here, as you can see, I have natural light, but you would ideally have really a lot of natural. If you can get all glass windows, that's going to be your best lighting for vlogging. Um, and if you're vlogging, you can just vlog right by the window if you don't have any lights. And as long as you're really close during daylight, this light is going to be a great lighting source without having all these bulbs around. 
And that's my tip of the day, guys.